Well, we're back with another Pink Culture Presents, and today we are at Bounce in Alt Street, which is a ping pong infused bar, because we have a guest who is quite frankly bouncing off the walls. Oh, Look at you, so oh, money, and she's fresh out of the villa. Woo! It's the wonderful now. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Take energy, two. <laughs> energy, energy levels. How are you? I'm you're great, you're, honestly. You're in an amazing bar. I know, and this is so much fun. And like I always say, and probably people are sick of my chat saying this, but I was so grateful to come out, out um, just because I have such a good life anyways. Prior to the villa, I've got good friends. You're a happy woman. I was so yeah. happy. Yeah. I've always yeah, and this so. is the thing, like I've always not always been like this, like obviously it's taken me a while, but before Love Island it was only a week. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm happy to come home. Yeah. I had a good life. And you've done pretty well. Yeah, I you know. Hey, it's interesting because you've got way more, sorry everyone else, but you've got way more followers. Well, do you know what's interesting is, um, and I will be honest, the first thing you do do, you check Instagram yeah. when you come out. And I obviously called all my friends first and then I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I was like, millions. And then I looked and I was a bit like, oh, you know what? Like, fair enough. And I came out, I had 16,000 followers. And I went in originally with 6,000 followers. Wow. And I was like, you know what? That's fine. Like, whatever, like people... I got 500 from a global team. Yeah, so. global, <laughs> global. <laughs> Literally. But then I was thinking, do you know what? I've got, like, I'm maybe no one now. I'll just start posting on TikTok, as I did anyways. First TikTok I did was a reaction to my heart rate challenge. It blew up. It even blew up so much that people started writing articles about it. Really? So I, yeah, and I was like... I've just got to continue being who I always am, yeah. obviously. And I feel like it wasn't really shown in the villa, so people are seeing me yeah. and they're like, oh my God, we love your personality. It wasn't shown. Because you're, that's something I, I wanted to, I've been buzzing to have you on for a while because your personality is very unique. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are a unique woman. Yeah, I know. And I when I, so I met Mal in Soho House and I remember being like, whoa, <laughs> she yeah. is energetic. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're just so bubbly. What, have you always been like that? Um, um, do you know what? I think I had always been like this and then I got into like a young relationship and I kind of lost myself. But I feel like that's what happens and it's no like shame on him or anything. Like we were both kids, like, um, you know, 16 yeah. to 21 kind of age. Like, and I didn't know myself and like neither did he. Like, and we're, you're so yeah. young, you're still finding yourself. And then literally as soon as we broke up, hello, <laughs> found myself. I found myself again. And it was did like, you? yeah, and I did like, the Camp America thing, like uh, top wakeboarding and water Dude, skiing, yeah, and, uh, to like these kids in America. And I think doing something for someone else, it's obviously really rewarding. Yeah. And then I did my ski season, and that's when I became mental. Oh my god! And I feel like those are like th those are the things I needed to do. Like, and I will say, like, if I ever have children, I'm gonna make them do gap years because I feel like I really needed oh, to find and find myself. And, I think you're so because I was gonna yeah. ask, have you been traveling? Because I truly think, yeah, you will never really find yourself unless you escape the bubble. I had to be on my own and I did those yeah. things completely by myself yeah. and I, I do think I learned and this is maybe toxic I don't know but I'm I'm quite good at saying goodbye to people are you and um, as you can probably you can just see walk away. Yeah. Really? You know, the way I was um, you didn't see obviously no, you I watched did. it yeah I see so when I left the villa and a lot of people were like Mal's reactions Cold. Cold. Really? And I wasn't cold. It's just like I've met so many people in my life. I know things are temporary, and I like. I, I think That's I don't know what the if it's a coping mechanism thing, but I managed to like dissociate myself with. And I, cause I thought, it sounds like because I mean I'm no therapist, but that uh, <laughs> you're effectively protecting yourself. Maybe and get slated in the comments for that. Yeah, maybe. You know I mean? Maybe it is. You have those. Cause and then this is the other thing as well. People started. I, I, I can't remember if it's an article or something. And um, the way I'm so jokey. Uh, I think it maybe oh, this is fucked, but maybe it's like that's why I'm so jokey because it's like protecting myself from like falling in love. And I think with Sammy, he he was more mature than me. He was 22, really? and we were having really serious conversations. None of this was aired. Ugh. Um, classic. Classic. What can I say? But he was be, he was having the mature conversations with me and being like, because everything I do, I would say something and then retract and be like, ha, just joking. Like I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe I really like you, and I'd be like, what? Joking. Uh, like, that's that's like, I don't yeah. know why I do it and it's like I don't know maybe I'm trying to I, everyone has their I think it's something it's clearly something happened in childhood yeah you have these protections um, mechanisms and it's really interesting when you look at what people will do each person yeah has. do you do you are you quite a confident person I would say so yeah. I think I think I'm pretty confident I mean you come across <laughs> fucking confident here I was a bombshell <laughs> <You're> a fucking nutter <laughs> I don't know I just think 
um, I would have done better as an OG. Like, obviously, I'm confident. I reckon you'd be in it still. With yeah, you. I, I agree. And I just think I know who I am, and I'm so different that people maybe found it like what the hell um, and I know it's like oh, I'm unforgivably myself but I think um, as a bombshell you have to be like I'm gonna like I'm so sexy yeah, I'm gonna to, like, wean in, don't and I don't I'm not like that no, I and I had to kind of up. yeah I yeah, think you're right it's, it's the people if you're uh, unapologetically yourself yeah a lot of people are gonna find that almost they're gonna get jealous and also like not. I think um, I haven't really got that much hate but the hate that I maybe do get is like it's based on my personality Nothing on my looks. Okay, really? I started being like, okay, because I always have my mouth She's open. Smoking hot. No, I, I like. I think it's a reflection that I bring out something in them that they can't be themselves. Ooh, that's good. Because that, it, I, that's it. I don't. I, I always know. It's like when people are nasty to you, it's like you trigger something in them. So that's why like, I don't care about hate. What's the Fuck word? Off. It's never. Um, so if someone's nasty to you, yeah. I agree with you. I think it's either insecurities or they're genuinely a narcissist. Mm. Either way, no reflection on you. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's quite introspective of you. I know. So going back to because uh, I could dive into your personality. But we're gonna yeah, no, no, who cares? Go back to, no, it's amazing. <laughs> Love Island. Yes. Uh, why did you do it? Mm. And did you enjoy it? Okay, so why did I do it? I feel like once I get something in my head, I need to do it. And like, I will be really honest. Um, uh, someone made a comment to me once that, actually, a few people have made comments to me, <laughs> being like, I should go on Love Island. And once you get it in your head, I, I had an itch that I needed to scratch. I had to do it. And you asked to go on the winter one, weren't you? Yeah, I did. And um, so basically, um, talent management, Megan, she's been so good. I love her and like they've been so supportive of me like literally messaged her since last year really? um, so that's why I was like I, if I sign with anyone it's got to be her because like she saw potential in me before anyone else did like why wouldn't I yeah. um, and basically it was like okay um, didn't get winter and she was like try again for summer and I was like you know what Here, sounds like, a good one so, Fuck winter. And, and no one watches the winter one and I was kind of like <laughs> well I feel like with summer people watch it more because they can relate because they're going on summer holidays and I I said um, when we, me and Medi came out of the airport, like people had been in the airport coming up to us, being like, "We've been watching this all on our holiday," and I remember being like, "What?" And I was like, "You're on holiday," and they're like, "We got VPN to watch you guys. We love you guys." There were people raging. They're like, "No, you guys got dumped because they didn't know because they'd obviously course, been watching yeah. it live and wow. they'd seen us." And they're like, "Can't believe it!" Like I had an old like a lady that could be my grandmother coming up to me, double kissing me and Med Medi and. Oh. So I made such a nice compliment to Maddie, and I was like, oh, it's so lovely. They were like, you're the most intelligent man I've ever like wow. seen. You were too smart for people. He's a lovely dude. Yeah, he's really so nice. nice. I feel like his, this is the thing about misconception. I completely had a different idea of what he was like. Really? I was like, I don't think I'll get on with him. Even Sammy, like, I, I, I met like, all these people. Like, I was just like, I don't think I'll get on with him. And then I came in, and I was like, wow, they're so lovely. Maddie was so nice as well. He was funny. I just couldn't believe it. Like, really? From what you see. See. It's interesting, it's, it's whatever they want, it's the powers in yeah. it, isn't it? So, do you feel you were edited in a... Um, okay, I don't think I was edited, like, I just didn't have any screen time. So, the, the, my best episode That's was my nice. last episode, and my all my friends are at home, like, rooting for me, yeah. and they're like, this is amazing. And then I got dumped. dumped. So, it's like, I didn't get given the opportunity to show myself, because they didn't show it. Yeah. And there were so many good things that I was doing. But I think, to be fair, um, Tyreek would always joke being like, Mal's on her all-inclusive holiday, because like, I liked Sammy. <laughs> I liked Sammy, that was it. I didn't need to, what am I gonna do? Graph some other boy that like, I've already found a connection with someone, like why would I bother? That's where it becomes unauthentic. Yeah, and like, I'll, I'll say that, like, I was very honest to myself, like Mitch was grafting me, and I was like, I don't, Often, my time. well, I was like, I just don't fancy him, but I was saying like, I have an uh, attraction to Sammy, like, and then basically in there, well, I didn't know there was rules, and it was like, <laughs> and I was kissing Sammy, and then Mitch was like, you know, that's very like um, serious if you're kissing him, and I was like, what? I was like, oh, uh, because Why? like in there it's different. 
like that's quite like it's, it's like the unspoken rules it's like it's like quite serious if you're kissing them I was like oh shit <laughs> but uh, we know. Uh, yeah I know and I was like well, I didn't realise like yeah. yeah, but you want people like you to go on and just yeah be, no, oh, it's so relatable Maura Higgins and all of that she was if you want to come to the show yeah uh, she went in and was just a complete I don't know what to use the phrase she went for it yeah and she did really well so she did yeah they should have put you in for longer that's annoying I know but it's oh, one of those things I can't you do another one reality TV um, see this is the thing like you just don't know how you're being portrayed and I, I don't like not being in control and I think yeah. that's why you asked if I had a, like if I had fun or enjoyed it yes okay like yeah I did would I do it again no because really? I just felt like what's going on I was always on edge my heart was racing I don't have anxiety but I think I might have had when I was in there because I was so on edge I like came in and I was like uh, where's my stuff and they're like uh, no one was answering me because you speak into the mic I was yeah. like where's my things and I, I had no pajamas <laughs> so I was like what am I supposed to wear thank god Molly gave me pajamas but I was so like well, what do I do yeah. now and I was like I can't brush my teeth like what the fuck and it's like you, they're like Mal go to bed and I was in me and Montel were put into like separate beds I was so hyper and I was like chatting giggling it must be it's yeah, so exciting yeah so right? excited and then um, someone came in shh you need to go to bed and like but this uh, noises bright lights yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. so surreal I was like oh, I can't <laughs> I just like. What was your um, most anxiety-inducing time? The heart rate challenge, yeah, and I'll tell, tell you that. why. Okay, <laughs> here I have an espresso martini, but I haven't drunk coffee. Uh, bearing in mind when I was in there for like six months, wow. and th this was so weird of me. And I was like, here, I'm really bored. What am I going to do? I'm going to make an iced coffee because <laughs> I just wanted to feel something. I was just like, all right, okay, made this iced coffee, and I remember like drinking it, and then that text came through. Oh my god! Worst time to have my coffee. heart yeah. was. And I was like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And I was like, what do I do? And then um, this is the thing. So like, there's no music. You're in complete silence. And I always have music on at home. Just to like hype you up, getting ready, like music's on, like kind of thing. You can, we're getting ready. And I was like, um, we, we get shown our outfits literally, I think maybe an hour before we're they going out. Outfits, right. I saw my outfit and I was like, what the hell? And I was like, what this, was it? it was like um, a sexy cat suit, but yes. it, yeah. And I was like, it literally looked like something from like Drag Race. And you didn't see the heels. Wow. The original heels they gave me were like this big, like PU leather. And I remember being like, I can't even walk in them. So I had to put my, I wanted to go barefoot, but they were like, no, you can't. So I had to put <laughs> heels on. And I remember I was like doing my makeup, like, uh, like did a cat yeah, makeup yeah. and stuff. And then I think the thing was, I didn't know when I was going right. so I started to get like really angsty and I, um, even my friends know like when we get ready I'm ready so quick and when I'm waiting I get like at yeah. home I start making drinks do you have ADHD I don't uh, who I, knows me I, I, I think we probably do. probably do yeah. and like I'm, I'm like oh, no music not, and I'm like walking by and we Restless. can't you can't leave the little room we're in so I'm like oh my god oh my god and I don't know what, what my dance routine is going to be and I'm like freaking out and I was just like oh, what do I do because like you Usually at home, I can just like play my yeah. phone, like fuck about it, like go play music. You see. have to learn to be yeah. comfortable with and, yourself. And, you? But I, that's the thing, I'm so comfortable on my own and I, I love the science and stuff, but I just felt so on edge. And then um, we were all about to get like get ready to go and we all have red, red wine and I just necked it, not knowing, oh my God, I'm literally going to be one of the last. And I think I might have been maybe the last, but they pulled me forward because I was having a full of panic attack. I mean, who could blame you? I was, I, no one knows. Was, but I was like fully crying. I was like, <laughs> I was like literally having a tantrum, and I felt like oh I was 15 years old. Like I honestly was like sitting in the hut, and I was going like this. I just need another drink. I was like, please, like begging them. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I was like, please, I can't. I can't. I can't. And they, were, and they were going like, get out of there, get out of there. I was like, no. And I was like, literally like. <laughs> so you just were refusing to go. Out. I just felt so weird, and I couldn't get snap out of it it's understandable though it's snap out of it and millions I'm not of people watching you do something you've not done before yeah and I mean let's be honest dancing sexy if you're not a dancer is fucking intimidating I know 
I know, and I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. Because I knew, like, this this episode, I know is the most watched episode. Like, everyone watches this. I'm watching it in a minute. Well, yeah, and I was like, great, I have such, so much pressure. Yeah. And then finally, I'm put down into the bedroom, no music, and I'm like pacing up and down like a polar bear in a zoo. I was like, oh. I, was like I don't, I don't want to go out, I don't want to go out. And I was like, what song are you going to play? What song are you going to play? And they're like, you'll like it, you'll like it. And what then was the song? I heard it, and I started, I was like, raging. I was like, you're joking. I was like, you're joking. It was Ariana Grande Greedy, and it's such a like, like cute you know, song. Know, I've it, yeah, like, it's but it's like, how do you dance that? It's like more of a sing-along song in the car. And I was like screaming, I was like, please put put go on. I was like, please, I was like, I'm begging you. And then like the women on the thing was like, Mal, get out there right now. And I was like, no, I was like, don't want to. I was like, what? And then like I was literally such a brat. And then I came out, and obviously they've edited it really yeah, well. I course. came out and I go like, who? I've got a whip, but I go, I wanted to say who's allergic to pussy, but they wouldn't let me say that. So I was like, who's allergic to cats? And then everyone was like, what the oh, hell? No. And I came out and um, I just like, why? Who's allergic to pussy? I was dressed as a cat, and I just thought it was oh, like, shit, sorry. yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, there's something different. And then I don't know, whoa. and I was like throwing this whip about, and then the boys were there, and I was just doing this with the whip. It's so long, and it was like literally like about to hit them in the head and I was like shouting I hate this I hate this I hate this and then um, finally came off whatever and I go I hate Aria Grande I actually don't I don't know why I said she's that great. Uh, she's great and then I walk in and then the sound the person in the voice yeah. goes are you sure you want the public to see that and then she was like get back out there get back out there and I was like she has to it twice I don't know I was like this no way I was like do you understand like I literally feel like I'm about to be sick and I was like I can't I can't I can't and then I came back out my my friends all watched it at home being like, your eyes were bloodshot red. And I was like, no. yeah, I've been crying. <laughs> That's so hard. Yeah, it was, it was. It Fuck was. you, Love Island. It's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, they don't like me. You certainly had an impact on the uh, the villa. You're the most followed coming out. Yeah. Uh, well, of the... Well, so you've far, had the most like, followers, yeah. From seven days, if you yeah. did a great show. How has it been being out of the villa and in public? What's oh, I love it, you know. Like, I just always felt like I was meant to be an entertainer. Don't know what, like some sort of- You're, you're destined for fame. Yeah, or like just, I, I'm, I'm good with people, so I don't find it weird or annoying. And I know like I've spoken to some of the others and like some of them are a bit like, oh, it's so overwhelming. I love it. Love it. I just, I like to talk to people. And like when they come to me, I'm like, hello. And I just like give them hugs. And cause I, I don't know. I feel like these people support you. Yeah. Why would I not be nice to them? Love that. I and love like, that. you love the people you support. And like my friends all laugh. They're like, Mal, you're so funny. Cause I reply to all the comments. I'm like, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> and then there, and most people are like, you're so different. Cause like, People you're say, so unique. you're famous, but I don't think I am. But I'm like, I, why would I not reply? Like, if yeah. I see it, I'm going to reply. Well, I guess you're in the, the, the growing phase. Yeah. You've got, yeah. As it gets to the millions, you'll be like overwhelmed. But yeah. how, yeah, which is happening. Watch, yeah, watch why this not? Phase. Here we go. How, I like, how do you feel about when people are negative or rude on your social? It literally doesn't bother me or affect yeah. me at all. Like, say what you want She's about me. Um, but like, don't talk, don't talk shit about my mum and my dad or like my friends like that's different but I honestly don't care and I, I get it's like her mouth's always open like why is her mouth always open because I, I just like I'm like waiting to laugh like <laughs> and like because like Love when it. I'm doing it I'm like yeah and every photo I've got of you yeah <laughs> it's like but you know what people associate it with me and I have people sending me pictures of them doing it and they're like so doing cool. them out and I'm like oh yeah doing them out doing them out right. doing them out so it's like You've made it. You monetize it. But like, I always did that. I, I think you'll be on another reality show. Definitely. Do you know what? I actually got a message today and I was like, yeah, keen. Um, but then I saw it said OnlyFans. I was like, oh no. Uh, no. But it's in, you make a fortune um, on yeah, OnlyFans. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. That's, <laughs> no, I can't do it. Um, <laughs> So what's next for Mal? And um, I have always, this is the reason why I did it. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a TV presenter. Have you? Yeah, oh. and like, just even, I don't know, a lot of people um, on Twitter were saying Mal's like a coked up child's TV presenter. Yeah. So why not? Why not lean into it? I 
can do that. So I love children as well. You can present tonight. You can interview people. Tonight. Hell yeah. Yes, done. I do. I just I love to chat. So what what kind of presenting like uh, just to glance sort of dextile? I think yeah, that me. was a joke as well. Um, so when I was Sam Thompson said Mal had no idea where she was. She was kind of like <laughs> all over the place, and I said yes, Sam. I thought I was on um, Antidex Saturday Night Live. I was waiting for Perfect. Sammy to take off his mask. <laughs> Because I just think I just, it's not real. It's like virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a different world. It's, it's like a bubble. I was saying yeah. to uh, to Mal, uh, I was on a show that was very, I guess, similar as dating mm -hmm. show. And you, you do you do things where you're like looking back on them, you're like, why did I do that? You just, did think, you fall in love? No. Really? I but I've, I've, like fell madly for this girl. I was like, she must. I, I mean, I love her. She's great. <laughs> uh, did you find that bubble effect would warp yeah, the perception? Yeah, absolutely. Because I was like, wow, Sammy's unreal, unreal, unreal. Then it's not okay. Whatever. Like, if you watch. It is. It's comparison. And then as soon as I got home, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> touchdown in London. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm still struggling. <laughs> and the sun keeps writing articles saying I've got Zach's my boyfriend, Medi's my boyfriend, and Zach I'm not, boy. I'm so single, but like, I love them, but they're not my Exclusive. type. Exclusive. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, okay, that's amazing. And overall experience with Love hmm. Island. I have to be purpose? grateful. I have to be grateful. Um, you crushed it. Yeah, and I was myself, and like, I had a laugh, and I met great people. Obviously yeah. didn't find love. Do you, so, and actually, going back to uh, the thing about... I genuinely thought I could have. Do you think? All my friends were like, Mal's going to fall in love, Mal's going to come back with... Do you fall for people quickly? Not really, but I think... Sorry, I literally slobbered. Not really. <laughs> if they're the right person, um, I would. Like, it. Oh my god, it takes me so long to fancy someone. Really? So that I had that initial attraction with Sammy. I was like, oh, brilliant. This is great. Did you get the ick quickly? Not even the ick. It just, it. I can't it's force hard. anything. And my friends were all watching it. They were saying my body language um, to like other people. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'm, and I can't fake it. And like, you know, my friends know me so well. They're like, we know when you're not okay. They, they all knew. I was going to say, you seem like the kind of person who you I wouldn't can't. be able to hide. No, and, and it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's horrible yeah. like and if I don't like someone <laughs> they know <laughs> and it's so hard because I think because I'm so friendly but then yeah. this is another thing I think um growing up I, I was like at all girls school till 16 and I spoke to someone about this um recently I think I find it hard to differentiate like friendships with men because like really? because I, I only have my good girlfriends and then when I moved schools like I got into a relationship yeah. and that was when I was 16 and then all my friends were his friends right so it's like hard to find that uh, and you're like you dude am i, I your mate well. like i don't know and then they i think they people always say not people yeah. boys always say i'm really hard to read because i'm like the same to everyone you and are. no one knows and everyone's like oh does she and i'm like wait what the hell and my like pre-interview before it. going in i said um i can't sing i can't dance but um, I can make your man laugh their way into my bed. Like, <laughs> but that's, I admit, like, I, oh no, I said I also can't flirt. I'm not, I, I don't believe in that. Yeah, I think it's important to, yeah. to have someone, a partner who can make you laugh. Mm, it's super mm, important. Mm. Do, do you need someone who can make you laugh? I've always been the one to make them That's laugh, I mean. so it's like, oh, so you, I, it's, it's quite rare. Yeah, I can imagine that like, you're always looking for the laugh, so yeah. yeah, having someone. But that's why with Sammy, I was like, wait a minute. He laughing. was like, was really? Like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. He's got a girlfriend now, so it's fine. <laughs> Thank God. You got it wrong. Saved me, saved me. Because like, I, maybe I'm not, I was like, I can't go through another like heartbreak. I've had two. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, recent? One and a half years. No, no, right? um, so the third's the last. Uh, what should type on paper. Um, <laughs> well, tall, dark, and handsome. So me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. hey. Yeah. So, what what are you busy with at the moment? What's going on? Um, seeing my friends and like <laughs> going to all these things. This is Mal. We love it. Yeah. Just 
just trying to find uh, my niche. Yeah, so yeah. you're because your TikTok's blown up. Yeah, so blowing up. TikTok's huge. Like it's crazy. It's I, I mean, it's good. It's a good thing to do is leaning into that because the presenting side of things that's uh -huh. how you get picked up. Isn't yeah, it? literally. So uh, in the villa, uh, there was a couple of articles written, or probably only one, about how you were almost cold when you left. Yeah. Uh, how do you perceive that? I was like, obviously in the moment, I just thought, okay, I'm seeing my friends, but I, I explained it as like I've always kind of said goodbye to people. Yeah. And I know that people are temporary in your life, so you've got to just like... Everyone temporary? I mean, no. Obviously, I've got my friends and my family like that I've known for so long, but things like this, I, I've done... No, I've not done this before, but I was like, you kind of know... I probably won't... emotional intelligence. Do you know realize, what? Yeah. It's like, I don't really see this going anywhere. And I, also, this wasn't true, but Sammy was like to me, like, he was so sad when I was leaving, he, and I felt really awkward, so I was like laughing. <laughs> oh, no! And he was like this, Mel, give me your number. And then I replied, being like, here, what are you going to text me on that pretend phone? <laughs> my number I was like spy so, then, so you're good at saying goodbye literally or maybe I'm like not but um I don't know even someone said like I, I made a comment being like oh yeah. you just got to keep going on or keep moving just on keep just, just keep swimming just keep going yeah. I said something oh just keep going and then someone picked up on it being like this is so like cute like she's just so like yeah because why I'm not gonna dwell on it That's do you know what I mean really like voice, life keeps it? going like yeah. fucking hell I'm not gonna be like just keep swimming just keep swimming do you know what I mean do you, um, do you think that's like a protection mechanism? I don't know, because I've always been like this. Um, I think because I've done quite a lot of things in my life. Like I went to uni in Birmingham and then I like did the... You did travelling, right? Yeah, like a lot of travelling. So I feel like in those senses, like you're always meeting so many people. Community. And like, you, I can't explain it. And I, I know when people are like get really attached. Do you think that will affect you in your dating life? Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 because I'm so like, all right, but I get really like weird, like when someone's there too much, I'm like, go, go, bye, bye, like, bye. Yeah. Like, if, I don't know, if someone stays Is over, I'm like. and go and guys? No, not with my friends. I love my friends. But then I don't know if we, if this was caught when we were saying about d differentiating friendships. Yes. Because I've got such oh, good yes. friends that are all girls. I like, I'll be friends with them for the rest of my life. And guy mates? None. No, no, I think. And I just uh, feel like with guys, it's like. Yeah, I think it's a bit weird mate. if people get offended by the actual yeah. honesty because it's true. Genuinely. We, we have friends, acquaintances, yeah. and best friends. And all, all my friends that I've, they know who they are. Yes. They're the ones that I've like known my whole life. Yeah, you're and like that's why I feel like maybe it's hard for me to interact with guys. I don't know why. Because I think it's like. Well, I went to all girls school and it's like differentiating friendship and then they always think like I fancy them and I'm like I don't but what? Are you, you one of those people who lets mm. them down gently or are you just like I'm going to go in? Nah, it'll be a bit both. I'll be like really rude or I'll be like oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I was saying this earlier it's uh, getting a sort of blunt answer right away is better than getting one five months down the line because they can have the balls to But then them. I've done oh I don't know that's complicated who knows? Everyone's a bit cuckoo. We are all nuts. If you don't have cuckoo friends, then what mm -hmm. are you doing? Okay, well, that's amazing. Mal, you are simply superb. Way. Thank you for coming on. We're going to have her on again soon. Have a catch up soon. Now it's time. For when I've got millions. She'll be on a million. Watch. Mark my <laughs> words. 